Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. <clears throat> All right, let's go over. Let's look at the market first. Market had a beautiful rally in the morning and then fell in the afternoon yesterday. I don't know if there was econ that created that, but it did. And we're into a strange area here where we're going to hold, but we may fall before we hold, basically. Let me just look at the spot. The call for today is a neutral. Neutral because if we drop first, we're going to flip and hold bullish later in the day. Like neutral meaning we're not going to trade in one directional bias, I don't think, the entire trading day. So if we rally first, we could drop late. If we drop first, we'll rally late. This is a neutral we got here, okay, in the market. No directional bias, really, I'm calling here for the market today. And in the morning, we could do either one. So we could rally in the morning or drop in the morning. But either way, neutral bias for the day. Uh, And that's the story with that. This, I put the numbers in the room. I'm trying to think if I've ever even traded this before. I can't remember, so probably not. This will have a spread. It is expensive. The stop will not be small. It absolutely really just shouldn't even remotely go over 100. And I'm not sure if I'm even doing that. <clears throat> I did rate it though. This broke 32, which is what I wanted to see, but couldn't hold it. Maybe waiting for the open. This is a sympathy play on the NSC. But I actually like this and could trade out as smoother than NSC. Okay. WFC gapped up failed, flipped, JPM gapped up and held the gap. I don't know what's going on with this. Again, I don't really even care. But I actually think that we should watch three things here today. And I'm really going to watch NSC as the last one because I'm really feeling like that may not work out. So I know the numbers really well for WFC. I'm probably going to have this up first, CSX in the middle here. Let me just set everything up. And NSC over here. I finally feel like we're going to get like stuff to do this week. It has been so slow last week. It was like so slow. It was almost like I just felt like going on vacation again. Even though I didn't go on vacation like before, I just didn't trade. But I mean, this is, it was just like so slow. And next year, I may close the room around that time, just completely close it. I just don't think anyone should trade when there's nothing to do. But there's finally, it feels like we have activity here. We have volume, we have gaps, we have things to look at. Finally, it feels like we're getting to be normal here. And it is earning season, okay? Or it's the start of it. So I'm actually going to watch WFC first. But here, yeah, look at this. But it has to hold true to the numbers. This is really kind of like BB, uh, BY, this WFC. Doesn't rank great, but I know the numbers really, really, really well. So I think we could do this as a quick play. NSC, I think, might flip. I, this is just instinct, OK? And the CSX is going to go with that. So if that flips, that will probably flip. And if they flip, I'm not saying they don't set up as short today, but they'll be on a later chart, like a five-minute or a 15-minute chart. The best thing that NSC could do, and CSX, is fall out of the sky. I don't see that happening. I just don't see that happening. I really, really don't even see that happening. And actually, this should be falling out of the sky right now. And this isn't falling out of the sky at all. So that's the story. So I'm actually going to watch WFC. 
But if you're going to be strict with the system, you're not doing this. I put all the numbers in the room. Okay. What was the other one that I was looking at? Um, I told Tom to watch this yesterday. I don't know if anyone did it. Beautiful morning sell off to the target. It's done here now. Leave it a good, leave it be. I knew this would work on Monday. I, I just knew it would. I knew it would, and it did. And I knew it would before it even, it didn't even do anything. I just, I knew it when I, I knew it on Friday. I knew it on Friday. So I don't know if anyone did it, but I told Tom to watch it and I knew that this would work Monday. Like I knew it would work like on Saturday afternoon. Like it wasn't even doing anything. I knew it would work. Um, boy, this is really spreadier than I thought this would ever be here. What the heck? In ideal world, this holds 54 into the open, sets up in the first five minutes of the day, does not go over 54 and drops like a rock. Target's 53. Realistic and not a dream target. And uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm doing it. Let's see. I just don't think I'm doing it at all. But I'll call it if it sets up, and I'll call the CSX if it sets up. And I might do the CSX if the WFC doesn't set up, but I don't think I'm doing NSC. I just don't think I'm doing it. I don't really see the risk to reward there. Could it go past the number I gave it for the target? Yes. Do I think it's going to? No. Yes, I am, Jaguar Paw. Any questions from anyone about anything else? Or anything else you want me to look at here today? So we will have an active week. Like, there'll be a bunch of gaps every day now, starting now until the next two months. Okay. You have to decide how many things you want to do in a day or how many trades you want to take in each gap. I don't think these gaps are fabulous enough today to be doing every single one. So I wouldn't do all three. Okay. I'm probably only going to do one thing today. It's probably going to be WFC if it sets up. If it doesn't, then it may be CSX. What if nothing sets up? I won't take a trade. Okay. BBBY. No, I just, I just don't think so. Be very picky. Be very picky. I wouldn't put it past that this market, and I'm just saying this now, just looking at it right now this second, and I call the market neutral today, but I'm telling you there's a small, small percentage of chance, and I said this other days and it's happened, that the market rallies today and has a big green dollar bar. I don't think that happens. My call for the market today is neutral, but I'm telling you I wouldn't even be remotely surprised if the market has a large green bar today or medium green bar, and that's not the call here. I'm saying neutral. But I'm telling you, I wouldn't even put it past it that it might. And this isn't really going anywhere. And we'll talk about this when we're done. I would not short this. And it's not a gap. Uh, UNP? UNP I didn't rate. This whole sector is going. Uh, you can you could have rated it if you wanted to. I, di I didn't rate this. But this is going to have a monster spread. But you could have rated it. TRN. This isn't even gapping. follow me today. In fact, if you're not in the room today with me here, I 
you, I, my suggestion would be not to trade, even though there's things to rate. Uh, you need to follow me today here. This is this isn't this isn't easy here. We, we, this, none of this is easy here today. Okay. Good luck. Let's see how off my clock is. Someday my clocks will work. Wow, now my clocks are slow. Yeah. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything right now. Don't do anything. There's nothing to do. Yeah, this doesn't look right here. No, WFC is off. Don't touch it. So I'm watching CSX now and NSC. WFC is off. Don't you can't short it. Well, we may not be doing anything today. Just relax, 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 relax. Ay 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 but I just said I wouldn't even put it past. I said a, a small percentage of chance market could be crazy bullish. I said small percentage. And we still are setting up like it could be neutral. But I'm telling you, I, woo, just really. I'm not in a thing. There's nothing. I didn't call anything. PBY late gap. Yeah, I gotta move this. Too thin, forty nine thousand shares. I have not taken a train. Oh, this is holding a hundred. Oh, 05 by 75 tight. It's sitting right now. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I don't even have time to size myself. This is valid if you want it. Oh, 05 by 75. It's a 70 cent stop. It is very, very tight. And I'm not taking it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's actually, I can't even size myself for this in time. Look, it's just dropping. I called it as soon as I called it. I'm not in this. I didn't get it. I didn't get it and I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't even have it up. I didn't even want to do this today. You could actually be in this. Stop is 75, and that is extremely tight, but that's really where it needs to be. You could be in this if you even got it anywhere near where I just called it, but I don't, I don't see how you could have even gotten it in time. And I, I, I'm not doing it. Just relax. I didn't call anything in this yet, and no one should be in it. You want to be in S S NSC? You could be in it. I don't. I don't know how you would have even gotten it in time before it hit. And I called it late, and I'm not doing it. And I didn't do it, and I'm not doing it. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do 99 by 20 if this hits in here, and it has to hit soon. 
And if it doesn't, I'm not doing it. I'm going to do 99 by 20, 20 cents on WFC. 99 by 20, and do not take it until it hits. And it may not even hit. One shot here. And really don't take it till it hits. There, there it hit! Oh my goodness, it hit fast. Put the stop in 20. 20? Yep, there, it hit fast. Okay, stop is 20. And you, you can still take it here. You can still take it here. I said 99 by 20. Here, you can still take it here. Let me just see where we're going with this here. Hold on. This is it. One play and no dream targets here. Market's neutral. Market is neutral, 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 neutral today. Neutral today. And, boy, I hope nobody did this. I hope nobody did this. I didn't want to do it. Did anybody do this? You're out. You're out if you did it. And I didn't like it enough to do it or I obviously would have had it up. I hope no one did this. And if you did, you are out. You are out, and I'm not calling this. Okay, this is it. This is our only shot. Here we go. Here we go. This is our only shot today. And I said, follow me today and do exactly what I do. I hope that you did. I hope that you did. I said this wasn't going to be an easy day. We're looking for 5370 as the first target. And I might just take the whole thing out there. I might just take the whole thing out there, quite frankly. This is not fabulous. And make sure the stop's in. Ay, 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 this market. Ay, well, let's see, 9.45. 9.45, if this holds after 9.45, we're going to do what I said, that we have a small chance to do and rally and have a big green day. This is insane. Insane. But that's why I'm really not holding anything here to the downside to any target today. And I have the stop in this at 54.20. If it breaks hard through 53.70, I'll stay with it. But it didn't yet. Uh, PBY still has no volume. And this is completely unplayable. It's like a waste of a... We'll go back and look at these when we're done. Did anyone do this or not? I don't think anyone did. I don't think anyone did. I gave it there if you wanted to do it. I told you to put the stop like so crazy tight. Did anyone do this or not? I did not do it. I didn't think it would work. It is completely off. You cannot short this the rest of the day. It completely flipped. Did anyone do it? I just didn't like the stop in it. I didn't like the spread in it. And I wasn't crazy about anything about it. I'm just instinct. And don't do anything with this. Don't short it. Here we go. It's the best thing we could get. And a decent stop, too, if we get this down to 53, but I'm not saying it gets there. I'd be, I'd be in love with this thing if it got to 53.50. If this got to 53.50, I'm taking my money and running today. Anyone have any questions about anything? What a tail? Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, people, somebody is trying to buy this in here in that tail, and you had the first green bar, but it's a short. It's a short, and you got to know it's a short. All right, who's in what? Who's in what? Did I, who did what today? Who's in what? Okay, Trader Gals and WFC, anyone else? Geronimo's and WFC, anyone else? Did anyone do NSC? I don't think anyone did. In fact, I'm sure no one did with the price point in the spread, but I'm just wondering. Beanie's in it, okay. Is anyone in anything else? Moving JPM. Okay, here we go. This is it. Nice call. I told you to follow me today. Here we go. Here we go. Under 88, new low in this. It should get right down to 53.70. If it bounces up there, I'm taking. Gosh, do I get out of the whole thing or not? To decide like right now, too. I'm getting out of half. Half at a bounce at 70. If it drops through it, wherever it goes, I'm taking the whole thing. Time of the day here is good. This is a nice call. This was not easy either. 
Look at the 15 minute bar. I mean, look at that. It's like we're, we are playing this. It's like insanity. I think there's one report out at 10. We're not getting anything else today. I don't even like anything else. I could call JPM long, but it's already done basically. So. You can't go long this year now. I can't wait to see what the market does. If the market holds like this after 945, it's going to rally all day and over the high of yesterday and make a new high. I'm just putting this out there right now, and we'll find out. We don't know yet. The time of the day hasn't happened. But I'm telling you, if the market continues between 945 and 10 o'clock to continue rallying here like it is and holding the low of the day, the market will not only rally all day and have a big green bar, it will go over yesterday's high, and it will make a new high today. And I didn't see that in the gap. I didn't see that in the gap, but I did say neutral. I didn't say bearish, and we were gapping down, but it really wasn't a gap down. It was neutral. This market is extremely strong. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever, 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 ever seen. I mean, I've never seen anything like it, and I keep saying that, and, and I don't know if anyone even believes me, and I'm like even amazed myself how beautiful it is. So we will, we will be out of this WFC. We will be out of this WFC by 10 o'clock Eastern time if I see the market holding past 945. Because <clears throat> of what it's going to do today if it does that. This is Wiley. Stay with it. You got nothing else to do. Not a thing ever. Let's look at APOL. One of the weakest things on the planet. Let's just look at this. <laughs> Let's see what BBY did. Nothing. Nothing here to do with that. What did GPS do today? Probably rallying. No. Not rallying, but there's no short here today in this. UNP. Let's see what that did. No. No, 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 no. Oh, here. Have the stop in. Stop is 54.20, and that's it. If it goes over it, we're out, and I'm not doing other trades. Although I still like it, this is how this stock trades. You have to understand it. It actually may even have another entry, but I'm not going to take any more of it because that would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Stop is 54.20 in WFC. First target's 53.70, 53.50. I want to be out of this by 10 o'clock. It has to break the low of the day by 10 o'clock. I'm watching the market very, very, very much today here. Uh, but I still like this. Otherwise, I'd just kill it. But I'm not because I'm in it and I like it. And it's going to break 54 again. And this is why you have to have conviction. We talked about this last week with the BBY. This is like the exact same thing. This is the exact same thing. This wasn't a great gap. Last week, BBYs wasn't a great gap. I called it good trading. It's the same thing here. I, these are just the numbers, okay? But they have to hold. Stops 54.20. And if this stops us out, I'm not retaking it, and I'm not doing any more trades. Let's see if it keeps us in. I, I really do know these numbers. This is going to have another entry. I'll call another entry in it. If it sets up, we're still in it. I can't wait for what gap this week. I don't know if it's going to be this week or if it's going to be next week. I kind of had a feeling it might be next week, but I can't wait for something so easy. Wow, we're still in it. All right, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give it 22. 22. We're still in this play, and we're going to get it. Aye, aye, aye. 22, and I'm giving it 22. But if you had it 20, you're still in the trade. I just gave it two more pennies. Just I gave it two more pennies. Stops 22 in this. We're going to stay through this play. Here, you can take it again. 09 by 22. WFC, a better entry than the first one I called as far as the size of the stop. 
Man, are we good or what? I'm not taking any more of this, though. I just gave it two more pennies. We held through the trade. This is like, just this is like, when am I going to have an easy day of my life here since the holiday? Jeez, Louise. All right, here's the neutrality. Maybe we'll get lucky here in the market. Really, we'll be neutral like I called it out of the gate. Neutral, 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 neutral. I said after 945, I have to see 945. And we're not holding here. And we break the low here between 945 and 10, then we're not going to make a new high today, which is actually fine with me because I'm in a short. But it looked like we could have or we might have. I gave it 22, but that's it. I really kept us out of trouble though today. CSX was a no-go. NSC, no-go. UNP, no-go. I know this is going to work. I just don't want to get dinged out of it. And I'm not going to give it any more run. No, I just can't give it any more room because then you start to say this number, that number, that number, that number. It's, it's not going to work if it goes over 20. And I gave it two more pennies, but it's just in case it touches 20. This it just has to hold. And if it doesn't, then I'm down one R today and I'll stop. And I'm really not doing anything else. There's nothing else to do. I called JPM long, but honestly, the first trade was the best. Be patient. This is going to need the 15 minute and the 5 minute now, whatever time that sets up before it breaks. <clears throat> I don't know if it sets up here or at 9.50. If you liked it, you should already be in it. <clears throat> you have to aggressively get through 54.10 again. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. Here we go. That's it. We got it. We got it. I kept this into play. Man, this is, jeez, Louise, or, <sighs> here we go. We're getting it. Oh, my Lanta. Do you have any idea how many people bought that? Traders. Market, I deserve an easy day. I deserve an easy day here. I, I'm, I'm just calling things so well that are like insanely hard lately. <laughs> All right, but I will tell you one thing. Uh, if this breaks 53.70, which it did not get, I think it goes hard. I think it now goes to 53, but I don't know what time. This break of the low of the day is going to have some serious momentum in it now, though, because people bought it. I can see that people bought it. Let's go over it. First of all, you should take one risk. And if you took one risk in it, you stay with the trade. You decide you like it, you do it, you, you do it. Okay? That's it. And actually, this is another perfect example we were talking about. And Great Gatsby asked me this in an email last week. And then I did the video I sent over the weekend. You need to know what conviction is, and you need to have it. If you didn't have conviction in this today as a short, you probably killed the short, re-bought it, then killed the long and then reshorted it, and you might actually then kill the short and buy it again because it could bounce in here at 54, which it didn't even hit yet and break again. I mean, this is why you have to have conviction. Now, I know this was tough, but I'm telling you there's a million times we do stuff that I don't think is tough, although this today was tough, and so was BBY. But anyways, there's a million times that things are not tough, and people still do that because they don't know what they're looking for. They don't know what they're doing, and you have to have conviction, or you can't make any money. You can't make any money. You can't make any money. And this is why people are all over the place. And it's impossible to go long and short something in the same day. You cannot do it. 
Could you make money doing that? Yes. Over the long haul, will you? No. No, you won't. You won't. This, you're going to have to wait. This is going to need a five minute, and it's not happening now. So you're going to have to wait now, and we're in this, and the market's falling. So neutral today in the market. Neutral today in the market. We're going to fall here into 10 o'clock and break the low and fall into the afternoon and probably bounce somewhere around lunch and then bounce into the close. So don't think we're coming in somewhere big. The only thing big we could have done today was rally over the high. We're not going to do it. I said we got to see what we do after 945, and we didn't hold. We didn't hold. That means we're going to be neutral today. Not bearish, not bullish, neutral. We might get bearishness, though, here in the morning to help us with this, which will work for me uh, because this is trying to get bought in here. But I don't think those are the people that are control the stock or I wouldn't be shorting it. And we're getting it, except for this is just taking a long, 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 long time. And when I think about things, when I like to trade, when I like to do stuff, I like fast moves. And actually, GPS had that. GPS had that beautifully yesterday. Let me just put my WFC up here so I can see it. GPS had a move. What was yesterday? The 13th. Look at this. Look at that. Right sell off. This was the only short move in this yesterday and the only thing that had any play. And the only thing you could have done with it because you're not buying this. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is what I like. I wish it just every day of my life, I wish I could get this. But we don't get it every day of our lives. So I have to know what we're doing. NSC, okay, I'll look at it. I mean, if this was better rated, then we could even just be whopping on more of this WFC now, but I'm not doing that with the 10 penny stop. No, no way, no way. No way here. I hope you didn't short this. You know what this is going to close like today? It's going to have a bottoming tail and a topping tail, and the direction of the body will have a color that is unknown. Don't think you're going to have anything to do in this that makes any sense. Don't think this is falling off a planet. It's not. I'm not calling a short in that. And I'm not calling a short in that. And we're in this short, and it's working. All right, here we go. That we'll go over that in a minute, but don't short it. Don't short it. That could close the day completely neutral. You know what? That could close with a massive bottoming tail and topping tail, and with a with a with a it could close with the exact same price that it opened, or with a body that is so small that it looks like a doji, with megalodon tails. That's how piece of crap ugly that thing is. And and you could have taken the first call. I don't. No one did it. I didn't do it because I didn't like the spread. I didn't think it was going to work. I didn't like the size of the stop. I didn't like anything about it. And I didn't think it had any target, and it doesn't. And that's the biggest problem with that right there. That is the biggest problem. In fact, let me just look at that. This has no target. Here we go. You got to stay with it. The five minute I hear is going to trigger if you didn't do it. But if you didn't, then you decided not to trade. It's target in this is... 53.70, I do think this gets right down there through the break of the low because people bought it at the low and they're going to get stopped down. You could short this again, 54 by 22. I gave it two more pennies. It's not a big deal. You could have taken more at 10. That would have been nuts given everything here today, but this is actually good. Tough again, once again, tough one in here. $2 off the high, but with a 70 cent stop, it's not really that enticing to me. This, and, 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 and that's what I'm saying, this, if this breaks, I mean, this could go immediately down to 53.50. This could get immediately down to some crazy number. People bought it. They're going to get stopped out through the low. So stay with this. I'm not saying kill this through the low. I'm saying this has decent risk to reward. And if you took it 10 by 20, it really has good risk to reward. You don't even you don't have to get it anywhere. But, uh, you know, I took it at 99. Look at this. Here we go. We're getting it. You can take more of the five minutes trigger. This is what we wanted. Time of the day is good. It's 9.53. Great call by me. Tough day again, and I hope you followed me. Exactly.
Boy, the market's really testing me in the last week. Wonder why. Here we go. WFC. Great call. I hope everybody's in it. This is it. This is it. We're getting it. We're getting it. It's going to break through the low before 10 o'clock Eastern time, and then that's it. We're done for the day. Come on, WFC. We'll go over the stuff for tonight. There is one good thing I like tonight. One good thing. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I want to see. There it goes. Go, 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 go. Here, this is moving fast, too, people. We have to pay attention. And I want this to bounce off some number then, and I missed my exit. Pay attention here. Questions when we're done. This is it. This is my day. There's nothing else to do. Everything else is so crap. Unless you went long this, but you can't anymore. And here we're getting the market. We're getting the market here into 10 o'clock. Yay! The only way this goes to some monster, monster, monster number today is if the market falls all day, which I don't think is going to happen. Like the market would have to fall all morning and all afternoon and fall, 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 fall for this to go to some crazy number. And I don't think that's happening. Here we go. But we are getting the short in it. We are making money. Finally, 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 here we go. Time of the day is good. Boy, tough call on here. What the heck? Another great lesson in the conviction. Another beautiful example of exactly the same thing as last week in BBBY and what I talked about, exactly the same thing as I'm talking about. Do you have any idea how many traders have no idea what to do with this today? No clue what to do. Here, here, here we go, here we go. 70, 70, 70, you gotta take half out at 70 if it bounces. I'm not saying it bounces there, stay with it if it breaks it, but have your hand on the button, this is moving fast. Come on, go. Let me just look at the market, hold on. It's just like ridiculous. All right, here we go. I'm just not a patient person. I should have taken more at 10, but that would have been crazy. I already had a one risk. I guess I could have added more just up, push the price up. But I probably would have ended up risking more than one risking it. That just wouldn't have made any sense today. It wouldn't have made any sense today based on the gap, based on the market, neutral. It wouldn't have made any sense. It would have been too aggressive. Too aggressive to start out the week when there's going to be plenty of good things to do. Here we go. Under 88. we got to break 80. All right, we're underway here. Let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's going to back up again. Just stay with it. Oh, here's a good little affirmation for today. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Jim Rohn. I don't know who that is. But that is a great little quote. Habit. Habit, habit, habit. What do we do? The same thing every day. The same thing. The same thing. The same thing. The same thing. Day after day after day after day after day. Here we go. WFC. WFC under the low. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's get under A to get some momentum through this. CrossFit, we can't talk about that right now for like a million reasons. One, I have trials in here. Two, I'm trading, and I don't teach when I trade. I'm sorry. We cannot be doing those two things at the same time, or we, uh, we wouldn't, I can't be focused. Email me if you have questions. I don't know. I guess you're not in this, or you wouldn't be asking about this. I'm guessing you're observing. We can't teach and trade at the same time, unless I'm just talking about something very quickly. Look at this piece of crap. I still have some broken 80. Look at this. OK, you're only observing. That's fine.
the most important thing you need to be observing is the setups here right now to see what we did here today, which we're going to go over in a minute. But you're, you're correct on WFC. I got the exact same thing. Scroll up. I always put it in the room. Ooh, I just saw an invisible tick. Or was that real? No, it wasn't visible. Did everybody just see that? It was a 90 something. Oh my gosh, I almost missed it because I was looking at the market. Did everybody just see that? Here we go. We're going to break. Stay with it. Did everyone just see that there? That was like, woo. We're going to get this at least down to 70. I just don't know if it breaks that. I just don't know if it breaks that at all. I guess it's really going to depend on the time of the day and see if it breaks it or not. Yeah, I just saw one. It was like a flash. Again, market's not going to be bearish today. It's going to be neutral. It could fall in the morning, but it's going to hold in the afternoon. You're correct on what you have for the total there, CrossFit. I can't look at the specifics, but it's probably right because I got the same thing. Here we go, under 85. This really isn't going to fall like a brick till under 70, though. So, I, you know, and it could bounce there. It could bounce there and we have to take out half at least or maybe even more. This is, you know, I don't even know what time this gets really to the number today. And you may have to be, here we go, under 85. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so hard today. Did anyone not do it? Did anyone not do it at all? Anyone at all? Did anyone not do it? Jex did not do it. Tom did not do it. Red did not do it. Here we go. Nice. All right, let this let this get get going. Let it get going here. Try to stay with it. Those of you that didn't do it, did you do something else? This will be bigger than this. I see this in here. This is going to look more than this. It's underway. But this was hard, though. This isn't going to go anywhere. And this is a piece of crap. And let's look at the JPM. Now, I would love to call in something in this if I could call this. But there was only one play in this. Although I will tell you, this is holding extremely well here, given the market falling now. I, 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 if, I, if I could call a trade in this long, I would, but that might be the only move for the morning in here. This is probably set something in the afternoon when the market holds. JPM this afternoon, after lunch, when the market holds. If the market holds, which I do think it does. Friday, yes. Or are you talking about yesterday, Trader Gal? Friday, you were here. Are you? Ten oh three, and I'm falling asleep. But we're up, and it's working. Okay, be honest with me, and who killed it? Who took it and killed it? Anyone? Let's see what econ is out tomorrow. A lot of stuff tomorrow. 
April 15th, Sox Day. A uh, bunch of stuff before the open, and then a bunch of stuff after the open. So definitely tomorrow looks busy. All right, so here we go. Stay with this and pay attention. I just can't look at anything else right now. Oh, what did fast do? Oh, here we go. Under 80. Jaguar Paws and WFC with me. I'm glad you did what I am doing. I said you have two choices today. Do nothing or follow exactly what I do, which I never think is a bad idea and is actually always a good idea. Here we go under 80. Surf Dogs and WFC 2. Surf Dog probably added 50 times. <laughs> Surf Dog probably maxed out his buying power. All right, here we go under 80. Trader Gal, I'm proud of you for doing this. This is an expensive stock for you. Stock was good, though. This is not hard to trade normally. I mean, this was difficult today for the setups, the way it acted in the gap, but borderline. <laughs> right on the cusp. Here we go, under 80. 53.50. This could actually go to 53.50 today. Let's be realistic with our numbers here now. Forget the 53. It's taken forever. And the market's been falling for a while here, and I think holds it somewhere. So 53.50, 53.70, Yeah, I wasn't doing the NSA, and I wasn't doing the UNP. But we'll talk about those in a minute, if I can just get this thing down, falling like a brick. Where is it going to fall like a brick? Under 70, and we're not even there yet. I would like to get another cup of coffee, but I can't leave. Here we go. <laughs> can't leave while I'm in this, and let's go. Nice. Tom, I have no idea why you didn't do it. Here we go. Great call. Oh, my gosh, was this such a hard call? It was almost so hard. It was ridiculous. May. The month of May. May is going to be an easy month for us. April, the market is going to get over the high and make a new high. I don't know when that happens exactly. May is going to be a really, really, really good month for us. Okay, this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to let this bar close here. Let's, let me just say, Cree. All right, hold on. But my clocks are just so off, it's not even funny now. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to do here now, though. It said no volume in it. Now it has volume. Cree is a short watch. PBB, PBY now has volume too. Look at this. What a waste of a move in here. Can't have, you can't absolutely trade it. Now it has volume, but it's already done. So there's two short watches here. Bearish watches, if you feel like trading the afternoon, which I don't, and I definitely wouldn't today. does that. Okay, here we go. My hand is on the button now. My hand is on the button now for half of this soon. Soon, 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 soon. Or the whole thing here, if it breaks 70, I may just take it. Let's just see where it goes. Pay attention. Here we go. We're going to get this whole nice 15 minute. My clock is, is really not right. It's not even remotely right. Here we go, 70. Hold on. We 
we just take what we can get on days where there isn't anything quality and you follow me for the directional thing to do as far as taking the setup. And I did a good job with this today and it wasn't easy at all. Here, I just took half. I just took half. Three pennies from the first target, I just took half. I'm putting the stop in for the rest of the original stop. 22. 22. And I'm just going to stay with the rest now and wherever it goes, drop in here. I'm going to give it into the next area. I just, I don't want this to bounce up against me over 80 here. I took half out. Three pennies from the first target, and uh, I took it. Now, I'm going to hold the rest now here to see where we go. Let me look at the market. This is the right thing to do. And we are getting the market into the support. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Here we go. WFC. Let's see if we can get break 70. If we can get break 70, we might even get right down into 60. But I didn't want this to back over in the 80s. I just took half. I'm out of half stops, 22 for the rest. Woo! All right. Let me just see here where we are with our lives. Tonight, I like this. This has earnings out tonight. I like this, but it didn't gap yet. It didn't do anything yet. It hasn't done a thing yet. But this could be the one tomorrow. I don't know until tonight, but you could watch it. There was another one out uh, tonight that I liked. Night's nice watches. There you go. Those two. This I like an INTC I like for tonight. Where did it go? Ooh. Okay, so I'm out of half. Two pennies from the target. And 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 don't stay in this through an entire bounce up. And you could have actually just taken the whole thing because this really wasn't a fabulous gap. Market is into support. It is almost 10, 15 reversal time. But I just took half. I, I'm going to give this one more drop down to see if it can get to it uh, and be a little patient. I don't think this goes anywhere near where we took it, okay? And if you want to try to get more out of it and you want to try to be patient without being nervous, although no one should be nervous risking one risk unit, you could put the stop at break even. You could just put the stop with break even for the rest. Take out half here, put the stop break even. If it goes, it goes to the next number and see what it does. There, This is worth trying to get more out of it because I think if it breaks 70, which it did not, which is why I took half, then it could get momentum down to 50 or beyond. So I kind of like think this is worth doing. Like you're not going to lose in this now, no matter what you do. All right, so... Who's in what? Who's in what? I'm going to grab some coffee and be right back. And then we're going to go over this. And that's it. I did one thing here. And I almost was like going to do nothing. And I didn't jump the gun on this. And I'll, I'll talk about why in a minute. And everyone should be out of half of this. I wouldn't know why you wouldn't be. Okay. I'm going to go over all the trains and things. Well, we only did one. But I'll go over the gaps. And just let me grab another cup of coffee here. Gosh, it's 10.15 it feels like it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon because the trade took so long. <laughs> Just hold on one second. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. All right. All right, let's go over NSC since Tom wants to go over that. We'll go over that first. I'm still in half of this. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's go over it. So the stock set up in here, crappy setup to be honest with you, but I did call it. There was no way I don't even think anyone could have gotten it. By the time I called the trade, it broke so hard. And the stop was really big. And if you have a big stop, normally you shouldn't really chase anything. It didn't hold. Okay. Flipped. Actually flipped. Went over 75. I'm so glad no one did it. And I didn't like enough to do it. And I always say if I don't like enough to do it, then you really shouldn't do it. Anyways, it rallied and went over 100, which it shouldn't have done. So after it did that, it wasn't going to act right or do anything right the entire day. Okay. So I would never have shorted this here, nor did I call it. And in fact, not only that, it went over the maximum number of resistance that I gave. It's an area, but it did go over it, okay? So this also, I think, was spreading in the morning. Let me see the spread now. Spread isn't that bad now. Spread isn't that bad now, but uh, in the morning it was. So you have to be aware of that you have to take big stops and things that are this price point. Anyways, it did drop, fall, did end up breaking the low, okay? Did actually have risk to reward if you shorted this. Would this have been a good trade to take, though? No. Very high degree of failure if you short this here. The fact that it worked and ran $2 doesn't mean anything because you're taking a trade that's a 50-50 chance of working or failing, and I don't trade like that. I'd rather be exact and accurate. This is not going to go anywhere today, okay? In fact... Uh, 97 was one of the targets I get. It might go there. It could go there. It did break 98, but I'm not even sure that it does. This definitely, though, will close on the day with a bottoming tail and a topping tail. So it's not going to have the full momentum, really, that it would if it had set up right. Okay? So the body in here where it closes could be green or red. It's not going to be big. It's going to be a small body or a neutral-like body with a bottoming tail and a... And a, and a uh, top and tail. There's no way this gets to 91. I have no idea where you're even getting that number, Tom. Hold it to 91 if you want. But I'm telling you, there's no way this gets to 91. Okay. So it's very interesting here. Uh, what did I say about this this morning? I remember exactly the words I said, but this isn't this isn't falling off the cliff. Like there's not enough panic in this. There's not enough panic in this. Okay. I know that you say, well, how can you say that? Look where it gapped down from the night before. Tom feels like there's panic in this. I'm saying there isn't. This this should look better than this based on the fact that it gapped. Okay. And that's why it's going to end up closing neutral. All right. Uh, let me just see here. This didn't do anything right at all. In fact, it opened a reverse swoosh. And I saw this here. This is, I call this fat lady sitting on her butt. I did see that in the open. And I then I knew it was off. Like, I knew it was immediately off when I saw this. And that's what it did. And it reverse swooshed. And we didn't do it. And you can't short it all today. And you can't buy it either. And it's not going to work. Okay. So I kept us out of trouble in that. Uh, let's go over. Uh, I could have called JPM long here. It's it's too late now though. This actually just did reset up again, but I didn't I didn't call it. JPM you could watch long on your own today. It reset up again. Here's the bounce in the market. Here's the bounce in the market. We're not going anywhere big to the downside. Neutral. We're going to lift in the afternoon. Neutral. So my original call here, let's go over WFC and then I'll, we'll talk about the market. All right. So, uh, gosh, yeah, I am seeing the market here now. Let me just think a minute. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do because of the bounce in the market here.
I'm lowering the stop on this. And the only reason I'm doing this is because of the bounce of the market and it did really go to the first target. I'm lowering the stop on WFC here. You can keep it where you want if you want to stay in it all day. I do not have the patience for that at all against the market that could bounce. So I'm basically putting this right over 54. 54.02. That's it. I'm done. If it goes over 54, I don't want to be in this. And it's not going to go anywhere big then. And that's a good decision. And I don't normally lower the stops when I'm doing that today here because I'm seeing, I'm seeing the market bouncing. And the, and the market the market's just not weak. Okay. All right, let's go over this. Monster bar, but not really. But it is. Anyways, I do like the sell-off. What I liked about this was that it held the number, but I didn't jump back into it. I didn't jump or back into it. I didn't jump into it. I didn't jump into it at all. I didn't jump in at all here. I wanted to make sure it was going to hold, and I wasn't 100% like in crazy in love with this thing. And it wasn't crazy in love with the gap, but I had a feeling it would work. If it held the numbers, barely. I really didn't want this to go over to 54 into the open. It did, and it flew over it, but it still held the all-around numbers to go back and look in the room. So then we did this here. Dropped, broke, broke the low. Didn't get any out. Why would you for 10 pennies? Rallied up. I mean, look at how perfect I called that trade. Look at how perfect I called that trade. Ay, 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 ay. Could have taken more and there it is. We shorted this here, and where I told you to put the stop, kept us in it with that. I'm going to relate this to shoes because I'm going to meet my favorite shoe designer in the world today at Bergdorf Goodman's this afternoon. He's making a personal appearance. It's the, mo my most, the most luxurious, fabulous shoes on the planet, and I'm going to meet this designer today. And in, and, and in my dream world, he designs a shoe for me someday. I'm going to ask him that when I meet him today. He makes, they hand make the shoes. It's an Italian designer. They hand make them and they are gorgeous. There is nothing like them on the planet. If you want to be the best at something, you have to be the best at your craft, the best at what you do. And it is no different in the market. In fact, the market magnifies that so much that you have to be good or you won't even make any money at all. You will lose. So not only do you have to, not only is it just a, just something that you absolutely should do, that you absolutely should get good at something that you do for your career to be good at it, to be proud of yourself, that you want to be the best, the best that you can. But actually, in reference to trading, you not only, if you are not good and a master at your craft, you will not only not be successful, you will lose. Okay, so not only will you not make money, you will not even break even. You will lose. The market will take your money if you're not good. So relating it to the shoe designer, you want to be the best that you can be is this, the absolute best that you can be. That means accuracy, it means precision, it means knowing the numbers, it means doing high quality stocks, it means doing high quality setups. NSC was not a high quality setup today. It was terrible. Okay. This was so hard to do and we did it accurately and made money. And I, I don't even, probably most traders went long this today, particularly after the first bar, particularly have bounced off the low, particularly seeing the market rallying in the morning. And where I told you for the stop kept us in it. Okay. It's right there in the chart, Jaguar Paw. You tell me. You, on this one, you should know the answer to that. You tell me where the setup is. Time of the day. And this is like right in your face. You should see that. The designer is Renee Cavella the most beautiful, gorgeous shoes in the world. And everyone talks about Christian Louboutin, who mass makes nice shoes, but I can't walk in them. I have one pair. I mean, I can't walk in six inch heels. That's ridiculous. Renee Cavell makes shoes that you can wear that are beautiful that you can walk in. I'm gonna take pictures tonight. I own four pairs, I think. Yeah, four, or maybe five. The most beautiful shoes in the world. All hand, they are handmade. 
They will, and, and they will probably never be anything other than that. They're not mass marketing them like Louis Vuitton at all. I mean, they are princess shoes if there ever was such a thing. They're so beautiful. Words can't describe how beautiful they are. I feel like a princess. Yep, yeah, like Cinderella. I'll take a picture and send it on the email with shoes. I don't know if I'm going to buy any tonight, though. <laughs> we'll see what they have. They're so beautiful. Anyways, you want to be the best at what you do. You want to be the absolute best at what you do. And there is nothing any more like that than in trading. And when I talk to people and I teach people and, and uh, you know, I can tell people don't care about being the best. They just want to be in here, take my trades and be done with it. They don't even want to take the class. You, how can you be the best at something if you don't even learn it? <laughs> you won't be. Just mimicking what I do, you can't get good. And not only that, what if I disappear? into the night. Marry a fabulous billionaire man, which is very possible, and stop trading and fly around the world wearing my Renee Cavella shoes <laughs> on an island somewhere. You know, you have to learn how to do this. No. Now I can't marry a fabulous billionaire? Oh my gosh, Tom said the funniest thing the other night, Sunday night or whatever on the phone. He said, what did you say, Tom? Something about me marrying a guy that's just okay? I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I was like, do you even know me? I'm like, what? And it was, like, it was like the silliest thing he's ever said to me. Like, it was like the silliest thing he ever said. I, I don't know. I think he was drunk, drinking beers, watching the Masters or something when he said it. Uh, second entry on WFC. They, you can wear these shoes naked That's how and look fabulous. That's how fabulous these shoes are. You don't have to wear any clothes at all with them. <laughs> Tom asked if you can wear them in a bikini. You can wear them with no clothes on at all. Maybe I'll do that for the website. Here we go. Under 70. <laughs> Under 70. This was another entry. Yes. You could have done it. I called it. Here. This is it. We're getting it. We're getting it. I'm out of this soon. I'm already on a half the trade. This is the here. Ooh, we just broke through 70 though. 50, 50, 50. Let me just look at the market. That's a great way to look naked with shoes, of course. Very sexy. You can see where the 5420 is. You don't see the reason for the entry. Somebody right in the room, I want you to tell me the entry that I called. The first entry I called, the one that we did, the one that we took. Jaguar Plot doesn't see it. Somebody else answered the question. I, you, you people have to see this. Where was the entry in here that I called it? Jaguar Plot doesn't see it. Somebody tell me where it was. I hope this just isn't 70, though. It only broke 70 by two pennies. Oh, you piece of crap. Let me just look at something here. That might be it. Well, hold on. This is it for me, though. I'm really not staying this all day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got to pay for the shoes. Here we go. Under 65. Well, this is a nice trade here now. Let's get this going. 50 could is possible. Here we go. Here, hand of the button. Hand of the button, and this is see if we can get it right down to 50. It's got to break. If it breaks 60, it's going to get to 50. Here it goes. This is a nice trade. You could have stayed in the whole thing to here. We did the right thing by lowering the stop. I just didn't want to do it, though, because it could have bounced well over the number. Here we go. Under 60.
don't even know what really time it is. 10.31. I think this keeps going, but this is getting into this reversal time here. It looks great, though. It looks great. Everything looks great about this. Tom, I have no idea why you didn't do this. It was 20 cent stock, and then a 10 cent stock. You should have shorted a thousand shares just to take it. Here we go, under 60. Come on. Yep, here we go. This is a nice tray. Yay! Bring on the shoes. Here we go. Try to get it under 60. This is it, though. I'm not staying in this anywhere past there. Any bounce in here, I'm out of the whole thing. 60. There, I took it. I'm out. I'm out of the whole thing. I'm out of the whole thing. I'm out of the whole thing. I took the whole thing. It, 61, it didn't break 60. That's it. That's my day. That's the story. Do whatever you want. If you want to hold this down, you're trying to, if you if you stay in this now at this point, you're in this to get it down to 53. You have 100% conviction it's getting to 53. You're not, you're not, you, we wouldn't stay in this to make 10 more cents. It wouldn't make any sense. If you, This is going to bounce. And if you stay in this to the bounce, it's because you have 100% conviction it's going to 53, which would pay you here really way, way more uh, than you're at at the moment. I just don't see the market going anywhere. Here, let's go over the market. But this was a nice call. And if you stay in this here, you're either bar by barring it or put the stop tight or you just took it all like me or you really think it's going to 53 and you could care less if you're in it all day. Someone tell me where this trade was. Jaguar Paw doesn't understand. Jaguar Paw, tell me the minute that you took the trade. Tell me the bar that you took the trade in. Tell me the moment that you took the trade. Go look at your jiggy right now and tell me the minute you took it. This is going to bounce people. I'm all out. All right, let's look at the market. We're just not going to go anywhere down from here. I mean, we're just basically on support. We're just not going to go anywhere from here. So we're going to hold neutral today. Let's just, we're not going to keep dropping. But boy, is this really going to, if we, let's just, okay, here. If we close today with a red body, which I don't think we're going to do, I think we're going to bounce in here in the afternoon and have a tail. I think the body, if we have a red body today, could be a medium to small. But if we have a red in the body today and hold in this look, this fashion of the look here, and make a lower high in the pivot from the drop off from yesterday and today, this is really going to give people conviction the market's lower because we made a lower low and a lower high. But we are still not. We're still not crashing. We're still not low. We're still going to make a new high. Who knows if that could happen this week or not? We have to wait and see. This market is not coming in. This is this level here is going to hold for the rest of the year. People really will start to take overnight short positions that are traders, though, with this look of this. But I'm telling you, we don't go anywhere. And we're going to get, except for higher, and we're going to get over ourselves. But this will bring in shorts today that are traders, not people that are in control here of this market, but traders. Well, who will have conviction that the market's really lower because of the lower low and the lower high. But that's not the correct way to read a trend. Same look here in the SPY. Same look here exactly in the SPY. This level will hold. But this whole look here, if we close with a red body today, we'll bring in shorts overnight, which means we could even gap down tomorrow. But depending where we gap down, we can hold in the gap. I won't even know until I see us if we even gap down tomorrow. I'm just saying. If we close bearish today, we gap down tomorrow, shorts coming in overnight, but we're not going to break. We're still not going anywhere. We could even get bought them in the gap down tomorrow. I won't know until I see the gap down tomorrow or whatever we do. Look at this. Yay. Here. I'm all out. I'm all out, but it just broke again. I mean, this is really just be tight. I mean, I would be so, 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 so tight with this unless you really think it's going to 53. I'm all out. Nice trade, though. On, I, I, this wasn't a great gap. It was an excellent call, and you could have done it with a 10 cent stop. And I actually should have just taken more, but this is pretty much the first day I've traded this week, so I don't want to get nuts. And it really wouldn't make any sense to get nuts. So the point I'm trying to make here about the market is it's still strong, even though we're red today. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Do you see here how the market's falling and this isn't dropping anymore? 
Be very careful in this time. If you're in this for a long-term core trade, you can look at a bigger target. But I wouldn't be a piggy in anything today. And I'm all out of this. I mean, I'm all out of this. And it did break 60, but I'm all out of this. No, it wasn't a great gap. But I knew what the numbers were. All right, does anyone have any questions about anything else? Anything at all today? Solid day. Not easy, but solid. Every day you make money in the market is good. Some days it's small, some days it's medium, some days it's big. I just have a feeling May is going to end up being just a monster month for us. And I don't know where I'm getting that from. It's just a feeling. And I'm not saying I think the market pulls in in May at all. I'm not saying it has nothing to do with the market. I just have a feeling. But um, the entry is better than the gap. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I think you're being sarcastic. You said the same thing and emailed me about BBBY and you didn't do it. And you said I called a great entry in that. And then you wish you would do it. I don't know why you didn't do this today. Like, literally, you could have done this with just, like, 500 shares. You just could have just been like, boop. That's why you're here after all. You're here to get my entries after all. No, no, the entry was fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It was tough because, actually, a lot of people, I think, that were traders bought this today to fill the gap. Okay. And it did gap up initially. Then it broke down. JPM was rallying. So the sector had strength in it. Market had strength in the morning. I mean, this was really a great call here today by me for a lot, a lot of reasons. But I'm not being a pigger, and I'm out of it, and I'm not even telling you it goes to 53. But I'm saying it could, but you'll be in it all day. I don't want to trade all afternoon. I can't. I'm going to make this designer. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Anyone, anything at all that I want to talk about? Any questions? Anything? Nice, solid day. Good watches tonight, which is INTC and LLTC. I have no idea if they even gap down. I have a feeling, and a good feeling at that, that INTC gaps down. I don't know where they will gap down to. Okay. I don't know if we'll get something amazing this week or not. I don't know. But I know if I'm solid every day, it doesn't matter. We're up. I won't know till I see it. I know there's a lot of stuff this week that's reporting, so I know we'll have a good amount of things to look at every day, which is nice for once in our life. No, I don't. Moonraker is asking me if I see that this is going to continue in here. Well, I mean, could this drop down to 53 if it doesn't get there today, tomorrow? Maybe. Like, if the, okay, here, I'm just throwing this out there. I have no idea where this closes today. But let's say it doesn't close at 53. It doesn't get to 53 today. The market holds red today into the close and gaps down tomorrow. This could fall into 53 quickly tomorrow morning, kind of like GPS yesterday, into 53 if the market gaps down tomorrow. Do I think that overall that this is going somewhere on this chart, though? No. No, I don't. Absolutely not without a shadow of a doubt. No chance. No chance it goes anywhere, anywhere of any significance. Not going to happen. Did it fall today? Yes. Would I take this overnight? No. Is this chart broken here? No. Do I think the gap falls through? No. Could it go to 53? Yes. If it kind of sets up the way that I just described with the market gap tomorrow. If the market gaps down in market, if it, if it closes week today. And this doesn't get to 53 today. It's this bar. It's the 935 bar. You you said it. I don't know why you're, you, you said it. Here's the bar you took the trade. You were answering your own question. Let me just look here at what else. But I'm all out of this. But, you, you know, I told you even if you stay with it to put the stop over 54. That's very far away from here now, though. I mean, you'd be giving back 30 cents in profit. And this isn't, you know, this doesn't have a $2 target on the day. You know what I'm saying? So.
Yeah, you could have done it there, Jaguar Pa. You could have done it there too. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. This wasn't a perfect gap. This was nowhere near anything that even remotely looks interesting. I just had a feeling and I knew the numbers. If we wouldn't have done this, we wouldn't have done anything. I wouldn't have done NSC and CSX never set up and there was nothing else to do. It didn't rate well and I was trying to be patient. Look at how weak this thing is. It's like, look at this thing. It's, look. It's like there's two green bars that don't even have any body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. In fourteen days of trading since the gap in APOL, it has two green bars of no size, no definition at all. It's like, wow. Let's look at JPM. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't call that five minute. JPM on the 15 minute chart, if the market holds, which I do think it does, time of the day for this though, probably is around lunch or later. Two o'clock, 1.30, 1.15, 1.30, 145, JPM on the 15 minute chart, maybe 12 o'clock, although it would be early because I think the market doesn't hold till this afternoon. All right, good job today, everyone. Great job today, everyone. If you're still in this, you can keep lowering the stock. Put it over 53.75 now. Take it or leave it. Just keep lowering it. Don't give back profit in this needlessly. We be, we got the trade, okay? And you could have been aggressive on this and added more. I just didn't do it. Well, let's wait to do that for the ones that count. You're welcome, line 38. You're starting the week up. Thank you for the amazing trade today. You're welcome. Boy, this was hard, though. Jeez, Louise, I'm like, ay, ay, ay. I deserve an easy one this week. I don't know if we're going to get it. I don't know if we're going to get it. I don't know if we're going to get it. I'm trying to figure out why. I, I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to think too hard. It'll come to me later. I have to figure out why we haven't gotten anything easy here recently. It's not just the holiday. There's something else. And I, and I, and I don't know what it is, but it'll come to me. And I least expect it. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you all back tomorrow morning. Have any questions, email me. All right. Have a good one. You're welcome.